A brand new Red Band trailer for the upcoming 22 Jump Street has hit the web. Channing Tatum, Jonah Hill, and Ice Cube return for the sequel to the 2012 hit comedy, and it hits AMC theaters everywhere on June 13th. Christian, what did you think about the new Red Band trailer? I dig it, and I say that like that because <laughs> I was wondering, when I was watching it, I'm wondering to myself if I liked it because I liked the first one so much. Mm. Because there wasn't anything in this trailer particular for me that jumped out that was super funny. There was st some stuff that Ice Cube had, had said and, and, and the stuff at the end with the fight with the girl was pretty funny, but nothing that was like, oh, I can't wait to see the comedy. It was because of how much their chemistry worked together, the mm -hmm. two of them the first right. time. That mm -hmm. was why I'm on board with this. I definitely mm -hmm. want to see it. I just didn't take anything back from this trailer that made me go, oh, this is definitely a comedy to see. Because comedy sequels are notoriously very hard to do. Sequels are hard to do. Yeah. Yeah. Like comedy sequels, there's a handful you really can, Austin Powers too. Mm. Like yeah, like what can you really throw out there? <laughs> analyze exactly. this, analyze that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we talked about there, that one. Yeah, it's tough. Yeah. Mary? Um, I, I'm with you. I feel like, I, I, although I will say, Peter Stormare is, is in this movie and his <laughs> character's name is, is Big Meat. So, <laughs> so I'm in, I'm in for yeah. that because I think Peter Stormare has just one of the most wacky and interesting careers of any actor out there and I, I, I think that you're right I think I think the the first film was so strong and it was so well received that it is going to be interesting to see how this follows up I do love the team I love the tank top suns out guns out I, I, don't, want to, I don't have guns but I would wear it <laughs> my guns are very sad but, I, but I, I just think that you're right so much is on is, is riding on their chemistry that is it just a lot of hijinks and a lot of like silly plot points or is it actually a cohesively really funny film. So so I guess we'll see, jury's out. One of the things that I really liked about this trailer, because second trailers are notoriously bad for just being three quarters yes. reused footage from the first trailer. This is a totally yeah. different trailer, yeah. and I do like that. But I gotta say, the first 20 seconds of the trailer when they're in that therapy yeah. session, that did not work for me. I thought this is just, this feels forced and mm -hmm. lame. And then once I got past that, it took me a while to warm up to the trailer, but then I really did. So then I watched the trailer again, turned away from the computer for the first one. So I then just started watching it from after, and I loved it after that. So yeah, weak start to this trailer, love the finish, but I am looking forward to this movie a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it just looks bigger than the first one, but the same stuff as the first. Yeah. I love the chemistry between the two guys. I love the fact that it's directed by Phil Lord and Chris Miller. Yeah. I also secretly love the idea that people who have seen the Lego movie might go into the movie thinking it's the same family-friendly <laughs> fun. <laughs> Definitely not, as the Red Band trailer shows. And they go to spring break. Yeah. So that's what I yeah. liked about it, as James Franco, the poet, says, spring break forever. <laughs> hey everyone, if you like this video, click that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and helps you stay up to date with all the latest movie news, as well as our daily AMC Movie Talk Show. Also, make sure that you follow us on Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with all of our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.